For Zoom Musicology, this Congress is a little bit of a historical event. Uh, uh, as far as I know, this is the first time that a general musicological conference uh, that is not one that is specifically devoted to Zoom Musicology uh, decides to arrange a whole plenary session to this field uh, with not one but two keynotes. I'm basically a biologist working on animal vocal communication with, with a strong focus on elephant vocal communications. I will talk about rain correlates of emotions and also how I investigate them with music. And interestingly, this pleasure network overlaps substantially with the so-called pain network. Always make this distinction between music, which is endlessly diverse and fascinatingly culturally specific, and musicality, which at least by hypothesis is something that all humans all around the world share. So 40, for 40,000 years, and that's a long time, humans have made music. I'm going to aim to uh, unite three distinct theories of music perception and cognition. You can see that the concepts, mid-level concepts and higher level concepts and low level concepts are all, the congruence is preserved through each functional unit. How does musical expertise influence other domains? Um, a very clear influence is obviously in, uh, in sound processing and musicians can be considered to be experts in sound processing. I'm a professor in music technology at NYU, focusing my research on immersive sound from the analysis and synthesis of binaural cues to the really to the many applications and and uh, and future technologies and as I call them future realities. My research is concerned with the discovery and exploitation of creative reciprocities between music as constructed sound and architecture as constructed space. So we are doing a pilot study of Chinese wind and string instrumentalist intonation. I consider musical beach as a special type of thinking, in which we think in such objects as tones, intervals and interval structures. In order to reveal the principles of this thinking, I apply the means of formal logic. First of all, I introduce strict formal definitions of pitch objects, such as the definition of tone. There are very simple two-dimensional spiral diagrams that subsume and generalize a vast number of music theoretical models developed over the history of music theory. I am extremely pleased to welcome you to this roundtable discussion and we're excited to sharing this time with you to discuss that very important topic of teaching the composer of tomorrow. I think the composers are born and then made. And so uh, the first task is to discover what kind of intuitive gift they have and that whatever they're composing is a direct reflection of their musicianship. A lot of the music that I've written, even in a purely symphonic space, has had a dramatic or a narrative element to it. I found that um, encouraging the students to look particularly into um, narrative and drama uh, is really, really useful. There is an idea that I'm quite fond of, which is that the body is an instrument you know, much, much like a piano. And I really, really like that metaphor. It makes a lot of sense to me. Mr. Ubinatan Bizarro, a designer of products, he came to me with these bionic gloves. And it was for me a kind of miracle. It's not the final solution, but brought comfort to my hands. And after 22 years, I was able to touch the keyboard with my 10 fingers again. Eu imprimi uma peça, né, na impressora 3D, um chassi, e desenvolvi essas lâminas, uma em cima de cada dedo, né? 
Então, quando eu aperto a lâmina, a haste, ela volta. Quando o maestro aperta a tecla, o dedo volta para cima. Proceedings are right here. Uh, this is the proceedings. Uh...